Well guys, in the foreground is a location we're going to now, myself and Paul Urban Exploration. We're going to show you some serious remnants of a mine and this mine and all of its workings is one of the only ones in this area which still has more to see than some of the other ones we've been to. Well that's right isn't it because it has a lot more of the building still intact it was never taken down because this is on private land anyway yep, yep. and the farmer or the landowner who owns it yep. decided to keep the buildings. Yep just to give you an idea of the location um, we're only probably half a mile away from Upleatham which we mentioned in one of our videos uh, then going off to this mine um, am i right that, neil though in saying that this is still part of the scene that was um dug at skinning grove and eston well you have to remember that when they discovered the seam and they did the homework they realized that the iron ore seam went all the way from here in skinning grove as far down as lincolnshire more of the seam was an outcrop in this area of the country on the northeast coast and we're, we're in north yorkshire the northeast coast um, of england and as the seam went off down the country down the northeast side of the coast and i've said that three times now the um the yeah. seam went in so the outcrop from this end of the country then went in and like we've talked about before the tectonic plates and the 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 seam of the yaw is set at an angle it's not flat to the earth's crust right. it's actually set in like uh, that yeah, that's right, so yeah. it's yeah. it's sticking out this end like a sinking ship and as you get further down to lincoln then it's it's buried further in and on top of that further down the coast is coal and all the other debris from the jurassic age as well so the, 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 this place is actually called skelton park pit it is yeah, and the land here was purchased in 1868 by the Bell Brothers, wasn't it? That's correct, yes. Well, they didn't purchase it, they, they rented the land, didn't they? The, they? They got a lease on the land, didn't they? At least most of the mines in this area were leased uh, by the estates or the trustees the of the land. Lease, the 99-year lease. The 99-year yeah. lease it yeah. was, and they mined as much as they could uh, prior to the lease running out. Right, so what we'll do is we'll nip up there now, we'll take you up there and yep. show you what we're talking about. Right, you're going to enjoy this, guys. It's amazing to see this intact, isn't it? It is. Oh, there's quite a lot of, the, I mean, some of the roofs have actually fell in. Yeah, obviously erosion, yeah. The, the beams collapsing under, yeah. the weathering, yeah. uh, and then obviously, but it's, it's one of them locations where no one's pillaged the brickwork. And you found in the olden days that when places went into ruin whether it be a fortress castle or something similar to this like a historic piece of uh, history people pillaged the stone because these were made by craftsmen no one just come along and chucked a few dot and dab walls together and then uh, a bit of brick and mortar these were built with precision and I've often said that the the sculptures of yesteryear are far more advanced and I don't think the going forward we'll ever get anything near. You only have to look at the cathedrals we have in in our countries, the, the architecture of how they were put together. It takes a specialised team to try and replicate that now and it, it takes some sculpting, it does. It does. Skelton Park Ironstone Mine is the most complete set of ironstone mining buildings left in Cleveland. The sinking at Skelton Park Ironstone Mine started in 1870 by three brothers, Isaac Lothian, Thomas and John Bell, to supply their ironworks at Port Clarence. The mineral rights and land was leased from Mr Wharton of Skelton Castle, and the sinking of the two shafts was completed in 1872, and in 1873 the mine produced 176,000 tonnes of ironstone. The mine worked the Cleveland main seam of ironstone at Skelton Park and the seam was 3.1 metres thick at 115 metres below the surface with an iron content of 32%, probably the highest concentration of iron found within the Cleveland ironstone. At its peak in 1902, Skelton Park mine employed 571 people. 
469 working below ground, 102 on the surface. Sadly, Park Pit finally closed in 1938, having produced over 18 million tonnes of iron stone over the years. Join MC Urban Exploration, me and Neil, as we now explore this once great historic place. We do hope you enjoy. Well, folks, we're here, finally. And look at the, the amount of buildings here. Yeah, well, waste not, want not. All right then, I'm just going to nip over here, Neil. Well, folks, this is one of the shafts here that we were talking about. There's two shafts here. Uh, one that you can see over there, and uh, this one here. And this is open. No, no, as long as the camp card stays on it. amazing is the amount of history that's in this place wow and what I don't want to do is say wow all the time but look at this folks that's one big serious big piece of wood that's going over there Have a walk through here. Now I'm coming through here to have a look and see what we can find. It's amazing. I wonder what that is there. Now just down here, there's a little hole. See what let's see if we can get in here. And move this timber. There. Oh, there's nothing there. I wonder what that was. Can anyone tell me what that might have been? Some nice spiders in there. Yeah, strange. Wow. Now that over there. That way. I 
might have a little walk over there. But I'm wondering whether they've housed some sort of engine in here. I believe this is one of the main winding houses. So yeah, there's not a lot in here. Just so you know, we climbed over there. Let's get back over. And back down. Notice there's a lot of uh, pigeons up this way being killed. So this is a pre-walk around, my friends, um, to give you a little bit of a, a look at what's here. Um, well, I'll tell you what, should we? Can we walk up that way? Oh, that's too much of a drop. So what we'll do is we'll go out of here. And we'll walk over this way to this point here. Let's so have a little walk down here. Because none of us really know how long this is going to be here. Now, as we said in the beginning, the Bell Brothers purchased the lease, a 99 year lease for this way back in uh, 1868 wow look at this and spores I had a look in the uh, the mine itself and looking well looking down the shaft and it scares the hell out of you how deep it really is We're back out. We're back out. I will be cutting to um, some drone shots and, and I'll be doing a bit of talking over that. Um, once I've had a little bit of an explore, I'll be catching back up with Neil and we'll be doing an in depth talk about this place. But while Neil's capturing drone footage, while we've still got the light, I am having a walk around. There's a bit of a courtyard here, as you can see. Brickwork all over here. And what we might do is have a look over in that building while we're here. Just taking the scale of this.
got to go inside, haven't we? Wow. around and have a look as I said I'll be giving you some in-depth discussions on what these are later on right Neil's doing his flying around. Sounds like a, a herd of oh, a lot of bees. And what I don't want to do is destroy any of this. Well, there's another little little thing. What's in there? Tell me what this might have been. Because I have no idea. <coughs> oh dear me. Oh. I mean over there was the main shaft and I do believe the men used to go down there but there was an entrance somewhere around here we'll have a look at that last and that entrance used to allow the miners to go in and get on a cart and go ascend down well descend down into the shaft Well, that's what it's not about, is it? It's all about exploring and open this access. This is the, um, the first aid station. Ah, right. This little room here. This is what, but I believe it was a secondary winding house. Yeah. I'm not 100% certain. But well, that was a substation. Not there. Uh -huh. It's the only building which is complete, so why are they not wanting anyone in there? You won't get it no, historic buildings protected by law. Wants to be anyway. It's the only way you can preserve history around here. No idea. So this is how the basic collapse, the lining of the walls collapse. So whatever happened in there, it produced something which needed ventilation here, and when it condensed, it ran off down that slope into the drain down the bottom. So this will have been a steam its first uh, use before electricity and everything else would have been steam I'm guessing you're probably right 
and if you look at the brickwork it's it's all it's kind of powdery where it's it's been steamed it's got like a the the, the cement and mortar is crumbled to powder yeah right what did you say was over there uh nothing there but you mentioned the, that thing with a bit of history on tapped on the side didn't you? Oh, down the bottom, yeah. yeah. I don't know whether it's wise to um, show people what's in that building, Neil. Well, we don't have to. I don't know whether I think, you know, whether I should. everything else you see around it. It feels like it was either built after or it was here before the mine. And I know it wasn't, but the architecture in it, the design, the church-like school-like windows, does not fit in with the, the surroundings. Everything yeah. else is square and oblong, and that's kind of church-like cathedral. -like. So these buildings here are, are pretty dangerous they are ready to go as, yeah. as, i mean you can see the one the wall leaning out leaning over out there. over down there but they've all got chimneys these haven't they well this th this was the blacksmith right so he would have been he, that, that that's work. his building so i mean you can go in there but there's lots and lots of chimneys and what have you in there and although they had horses here he would have been making iron for yes iron he well, was not just horse shoes Look at this old, uh, old ironwork on the door. <laughs> I know I get excited over stuff yeah, like that. I mean, it's reclaimed stuff people would now buy and make things out of or add it to old furniture or yeah. new furniture to yeah. make it look upcycle things. It's been two story, hasn't it? Because that um, looks like a walkway from yeah. the other. It, it more than likely has. I'm not 100 percent certain on that one. But I mean, the only thing old in that stack up is one brick, I think. Well, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, if you took that one brick out, yeah, it's it gone. Which are getting pretty much the same everywhere. I mean, one brick. <laughs> And it's ready to go. Neil, I know we don't normally do this, but uh, there is, I feel, an energy here. I know uh, if Jan is watching this right now, she will talk about her um interactions with spirit en energy and a blacksmith <laughs> 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 <laughs>
from yeah. the skin and growth mine. Really? But that's a story which only can yeah. be told off camera because right, of, yes, of course. the blue language used in the only way you could describe what was being said. As we take a look around at this once historical site, many things can be found, the remnants of yesteryear scattered about this site. It's a fantastic take on history and what was once here. You can almost get a sense of the workers that were around here at the time. The bricks from the Bell Brothers who purchased the lease of this place in 1868. The standalone grand building still left virtually intact. Let's now move on to explore the rest of this site. Oh, this stonework. <laughs> Your woodwork's spot on. Look at this metalwork here. Yeah. And look, I mean, that nail is a hinge. Yeah. And it's all, it hasn't been made by a, a machine and, and see there what they're talking. Wow. Yeah, that, that is one big hinge. Nothing symmetrical on there, there's no equal space between each hole. No. It's been manufactured by hand. Bored with probably heat. It's surprising um, how many doors have been bricked up. Yeah, yeah. Have you noticed that? They're all over, aren't they? Yeah. But they've been done back in the time, not. Yeah, yeah. See, this, this was built with. An intention and then after the workers actually get in here and go do you know what it, we don't need all this space we don't need that being there now we know how it works let's fabricate the building to our use and that's why the doors and certain windows have been bricked up but again this is a two-story one isn't it it is and you have to remember we're in we're in a going back 100 years and the climate slightly changing October, November around here now would have been probably six foot of snow on the ground back in the 1800s. We're lucky to get snow in this part of the world now, but things so that would have been heat loss. Let's brick it up. We don't need, let's yeah, walk out see that what you're door, saying. walk in the next door next to it. Why yeah. do we have to have a ventilation all the way through? And it's these guys were working it in clothes which weren't built for the environment. Oh, hey, wow. Now, that's the door entrance to the shaft. Yeah, that's uh, this. Uh, see, one second. So, yes, this entrance here, which is bricked up, was where the men used to enter and get in a cage and was lowered down in this shaft. Now, if you look further up here, at the top here, you can see there was a different brick used. Now that brick was added on there so they could get the, you know, the crate gear, the winding gear on top of there so they could lift the men down, take the men down into the shaft. But yes, that's the uh, doorway to the abyss. Wow. Oh, this must have been another, another entrance here.
Yeah, see, definitely a doorway. Now, see, also, actually, do you know where I'm wondering whether this was the entrance here for the men? And as you can see here, carts would be brought up here. And can you see the rails that are still intact? So they'd be shipped out. So they'd bring the carts full of ore out through here. Wow. Hey? Now, see, that door there was where the carts would come up as well. And these are the rails. There's another door around there where I believe the men might have gone in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they haven't built it in. In fact, that would actually fall away. That would have been the original door. Well, that was the entrance to it, and I think they brought up the carts because the wind. That, see that top bit there I explained to you before. That was added on there to put the winding gear on. Right. And you can see the hole where that winding gear would have went through. Yes. Uh, the, the main joist. To yeah. Hold it all together. That's right. I think you can, well you can see it's up there, that bit there, yeah. And there were several little bits like that as you can see that's around it. There was another door here. Now there was a big entrance door here, there was a double door here Neil. And a door on this side of the shaft. But what we won't have, the heavy wheels come out that way, no, if you turned on, I turned it. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're saying. There's a lot of structural cracking going on, isn't there? Yes, but then we're over we're over Jersey, aren't we? This this year, yeah. this decade, Jersey. The hell of this? Oh wow! Another entrance that's been bricked up. Watch it, mossy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that would have led in there. Wow! I wish there was still some way to get in. Uh, no, I wouldn't go in. I would not go down there. Yeah. Definitely not go, I wouldn't go down there. Hi folks, um, I'm waiting on Neil, he's getting some drone footage, uh, so while he's doing that I might as well give you a little bit of background of this, and I've already done a little bit of a talk over, but I just might as well say, uh, the, the lease for this place was uh, leased by um, three people, Isaac Lothian and Thomas and John Bell, the Bell brothers, um, they had an ironstone uh, place over in uh, Port Clarence. And they leased it off Mr. Wharton in uh, over from Skelton Castle Estates back in 1868. And in 1870 they started work on this place, uh, sinking the shafts. Now there was two shafts that uh, were sunk. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more in depth uh, with the drone footage you'll see and I'll talk about that a little bit more. But in, in 1872 um, these shafts started working. And the miners were here do, doing the job digging out the ironstone. 
and in 1873 the first lot of ironstone came out of these mines and it was 176,238 tonnes of ironstone was produced in that first year which you know it was quite a lot um, it, this seam is actually the uh, you know can be related from Skinning Grove all the way over to Weston uh, but the seam here was 3.1 metres thick at a depth um, of 115 metres. Uh, but the iron content of this seam was 32% and in that, in iron content terms that is quite a substantial um, good bit of gear, gear really. Uh, and, it, and it's at its peak in 1902 there was over 571 people working here. 469 of those people were underground and 102 were above ground. There was a lot of workings here and I will show you some real good photos of this place as well. But sadly in 1938 this pit had to close and it was a shame because it produced over 18 million tonnes of ironstone over its period of you know, workings. And then in 1987 this place, most of the buildings gained a grade 2 listing. Sadly what you'll have seen today is quite a few of them have actually um, they're ready to fall down and uh, they're not long for this uh, for this world bless it and it's a shame but uh, there's some history I, I hope I've done it justice uh, me and Neil and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait for Neil to come across and we'll do a summary a sum up but I just wanted to give you that bit of information. Sang about it. So, Neil, uh, you know we've come here, we've we've had a good look around, haven't we? Um, we have. I, I, for me personally, I've given a little bit of info and I'm going to do a little bit more over the drone footage that you kindly shot. Uh -huh. What are your thoughts on this place? If this had to appear on one of them programmes, like the grand designs of home building, then this would have been that, because the 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 infra infrastructure of this setting and how it's built and the view it's got uh, I mean it's phenomenal it's obviously it's here for a reason because the seam that iron ore was directly underneath but it's so picturesque it's a shame that it had to be a working environment and not a place of dwelling the old buildings now which are uh, under the trust of the um, mining uh, authorities it's a shame they couldn't have been turned into um, holiday homes. What, what, what gets me yeah. is that in 1987, these buildings were given grade two listing. Of course. And yet they've left to go I know, yeah. into ruin. I mean, one of the, the, the big buildings we mentioned a lot, and you hear me saying it's out of place, and that is the, the one which is actually in front of us behind the camera. And it's more of a church-like structure or it feels like a, church, a school it? Yeah. than an actual place which was only built to to actually work. It was a workhorse building. It's it's architecture, and I'm I'm looking up at it now. It's architecture. The the effort's gone into the carpentry and the stone masonry, if that's a word, is that a word? Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's 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 amazing. It shouldn't have been it a building for fit. work. Yeah with the rest of the surroundings no, it's, it's out it's out of place it's out of matrix it's yeah, been it is blobbed here in the middle of it and it, it's it's more victorian well, than the, the, the structure yeah. itself is very reminiscent of a church isn't it it is yeah, uh, yeah. that sort of thing you know yeah but you'll have seen it anyway yeah and at, at some point paul might stick a picture of it here or here yeah. or down below yeah i will but do. uh <laughs> but yeah it's it, it's it's a i mean that alone could be turned into a something even if it was a tea room stroke visitor museum center sort of visitor thing. Yeah, center yeah uh, i mean there's enough to view from outside of every building here where public safety would be paramount and everything could be fenced off and it could become a part of a tourist it could, thing it could all the mines in this area and i can't list them and number them because there's that many this is the only still standing uh, fabricated setup that's left in this area and as you've seen in the footage the drone footage the stills we've been uploading with this video footage and our narration throughout 
Um, you can see I the, the quality. I don't know precisely how many mines there yep. were, but I know there was over 30. There was. There was over 30 mines, one yep. there, and this yep. one is the only one that's got most of the buildings still in situ, yep. and you can see down into the shaft. You can. We've just found a little. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've just found a little cubby hole of a shaft as yeah, well, we which have, yeah. runs under the yeah. main building of the one which we have uh, just flew over with the drone, actually. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. It's it's a shame. It needs kind of that lottery fund thrown at it. It does. Make and safe. It does. Boundary all around each. I mean, Beamish. If anyone's um, heard of Beamish, which is a museum in uh, Durham, uh, they take buildings like this, brick, a, brick by brick away, and rebuild them. And rebuild them over there. And I'm surprised they're still here and they haven't. I mean, you can hear the excitement in my voice. I'm surprised these, this, it, it is, it, it, uh, it's a shame. Um, it is. Because these buildings, yes, are historic. Yes, it's part of our history. If anyone sat here watching this now and they're in Australia, these buildings helped to develop and build the bridges you walk upon daily yeah. in Australia did, yeah. and around the world. The yeah. steel manufactured from the iron ore of the Cleveland Ironstone mines is is everywhere in the world. It, it is. is. It's it is. everywhere. It what is. was you saying anyway before you start here? I don't know. Uh, well, I was saying that we should. You know, remember when we did the Eastern Mines video? Yeah. And I said we should get a, a saying, but we, yeah. we, we never did, did we? No, no. We never got one. But I don't uh, think we've used it anyway. No. But it's it's well, it's bringing history back to life, isn't it? That's it. Well, that's that is our main saying. I mean, yeah. we we do try and bring history back to life. But anyway, all I was going to say was. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure again from me. So, bye from me. And bye from me, guys. Uh, don't forget, follow them links. We're going to pop in the, in the comments down below. We mentioned them earlier on with regards to what we were talking about earlier on. Uh, and just keep, uh, don't forget, if we're of interest to you, like and subscribe. We're not going to insist. It's up to you. No, that's Because right. uh, the winter months are coming and we've got plenty planned for the winter as well yeah, uh, yeah. so we're not just like and if you know of anyone who wants to watch this or likes to watch this yeah. kind of stuff let them know yeah or share it out yeah share it out but thanks again anyway yeah bye for now folks thank you bye now bye